Hey guys, all right, I'm back this week with the all new redesign for 2021 Nissan Rogue. And this is the champagne metallic color, two tone with a black roof. Let's have a look around. All right, I do love the name of the color. Um, the color itself, it's grown on me this week. I've been in it for five days now and I actually really do like it. I am torn about the headlights being split up that way. I think they look sharp, unique. Uh, however, I'm, I'm a little torn on loving them. I do love the two-tone, the black roof and the roof line with the champagne metallic color on the bottom of the vehicle. Not a huge fan of those wheels. They are 19 inch for the platinum trim. And I do love the rear end of this new Rogue. As you can see, platinum all wheel drive. It's the top trim. Let me show you the inside. All right, we do have a power lift gate and it is also motion activated. I've tried it several times this week with a handful of groceries and it works fantastic. It's got the optional uh, cargo cover. I believe that's a $250 option. And then you've got a couple little cubbies that could store a few extras uh, back here in the rear cargo space. One of the most family friendly features of this Rogue is the fact that the rear doors open 85 degrees. Yes, it looks like 90 degrees, but it's actually 85. What that means is getting your children in and out and car seats in and out are so much easier. We've got window shades in the back here, which is unique to this. Um, I would say it would be unique to the Rogue. I've not seen that in a uh, mid-priced SUV before. I absolutely adore these black leather quilted seats and Nissan was kind enough to send me some additional info about these seats. They are based, they're zero gravity seats front and rear based on NASA technology for comfort and they are very comfortable. I love the gigantic Pano sunroof. I love that you have the flat bottom floor, more room for your passengers. It has tri-zone climate control, which means your back passengers can control their temp back here and heated seats and USB and USB-C plus vents. So yeah, lots of great kid-friendly, family-friendly friendly features in this back seat. And the 10 speaker Bose system is amazing. And I, and I point that out now just because I see the speakers in the doors. Lots of uh, power adjustable front seats. Again, with the leather, Napa leather quilted pattern on the seats, a door. These are heated, but not ventilated. All right, I'm gonna start it up and show you the fully digital instrument cluster display here. It is also fully customizable. I do love that. I love the flexibility and I love the way they've designed this. These, uh, the gauges on the left and right. Very, very clear. I always love a good custom screen. Can you see the head up display? Yes, you can. It is actually a 10 inch head up display and also integrates the nav into the head up display. What else do we have here? Music controls. This is where you customize the digital dash and pro pilot assist um, adaptive cruise so it's radar cruise with pro pilot assist which means it follows traffic it's with stop and go and for 2021 they've improved their pro, pro pilot assist by um, offering longer stop periods uh, so if you're sitting in traffic for longer than three seconds, it no longer needs you to resume. It will keep, it will keep your adaptive cruise with stop and go going for up to 30 seconds of stop. And I did test the adaptive cruise on the highway the day I picked it up and it was excellent. Full screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, and a very touch of, uh, responsive touch screen. 
I've had no issues with the infotainment system. I really enjoy it. I really like also how clear the backup camera is. You have 360 view as well as a very clear um, backup. The only thing I haven't been able to figure out is why only sometimes the front camera comes on. I don't know if it's regarding the uh, forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection, if that's why it sometimes comes on when I'm um, maneuvering into a parking spot and sometimes it doesn't. Tri-zone climate control, as I already mentioned, the rear passengers can control their own or you can control the rear uh, temperature from up front. Heated steering wheel, heated front seats, and USB and USB-C. I always, even if I have wireless CarPlay, I still use my USB or USB-C, depending which cord I have with me, because uh, your sound will quality, quality will be better if you plug in your phone. Wireless charging, and it does work with my 11 Pro Max. A nice lit um, area so that you can see that charging pad when it is dark outside. Two good cup holders, nothing fancy about them. Drive modes, let's talk about this. So we've got, um, a, this is a turn dial and then I'll show you what it looks like on this screen. So you've got Eco, a Sport, Eco, Auto, Snow, and Off-Road as this is an all-wheel drive. So it's great to have that flexibility. Let's talk about this gear shift knob for a second. I am I mean, it's kind of grown on me. I've gotten used to it this week, but I'm not in love with it. Um, you just push it back once to put it in drive. If I do it again, now it's in manual and you've got paddle shifters for that. Uh, to put it in reverse, you do have to press this little button and now it's in reverse. Um, and then park is the button. I, I don't know. I, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. A decent size uh, center cubby. And again, these really great comfortable seats and then with some faux wood here. So we haven't talked about um, driving and power and motor and all of those things were updated for 2021. The suspension, the um, motor and uh, handling, all of it updated, upgraded, all wheel drive. I'm not gonna get technical with you. That's not what I do, but it is a two and a half liter, four cylinder, getting 181 horsepower and 181 pound feet of torque. And when I read those specs before I picked up the Rogue, I was expecting it to feel gutless because it's an SUV and it's a bigger vehicle, but I've been so pleasantly surprised this week. It is actually extremely peppy. I haven't even had to put it in sport mode. I've been driving in automatic all week and I love the drive. It is very peppy, surprisingly so, and uh, a lot of get up and go. So I've had no issues with it feeling gutless, which I was, I was a little concerned about. It sounds like so, so little, 181 horsepower in an SUV, but it's been, it's been a really great drive. And as I already said, the seats are so comfortable. So I've loved driving this new Rogue. Uh, what else haven't we talked about? Fuel economy is stated to get 13, uh, sorry, 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers and somewhere between 27 and 35 miles per gallon. I have been getting 13.5 liters per 100 kilometers and that's probably because I'm doing primarily city driving, stop and go, short distances, hauling kids around to school and that's pretty much it and to the grocery store. So no real highway drives here except for when I picked it up on Monday in Vancouver. What else? Um, let's talk about pricing. So I think there's huge value here. Um, I skipped over safety, so we're gonna circle back to that because I do wanna talk about that because I think that's part of the reason why um, there's so much value in this. For this price point, for this um, category, every safety feature you could possibly want is in this car and it's all in. It is all included and I believe it is standard for even the base for front wheel drive Nissan Rogue. The base model front wheel drive Nissan Rogue is $28,498 Canadian and $25,650 US dollars. This one is the top of the line. Even the champagne metallic is an additional 585 Canadian 
for 350 US dollars. The cargo cover is the only thing I could find that was an additional uh, accessory on here, which is $180 US. I couldn't find it on the Canadian website or maybe I forgot to look. However, as tested, top of the line, all wheel drive, the champagne metallic cool color combo is 38,455 US dollars and 40,583 Canadian. And I, I really actually think that is an amazing, amazing value for what you're getting. Because let's circle back and talk about that safety again. Of course, Nissan has all the basic safety features in here with airbags and latch for car seats and, um, you know, all the basic things, ABS brakes, traction control, this, the, the basics. But for advanced driving, say, driving, driver assist features and advanced safety features, uh, you can't beat it. It has that pro pilot assist for when you're on, on the highway or commuting and you want that adaptive cruise with lane keeping and lane tracing and everything else. It also has blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert when you're backing up and something's coming, um, um, uh, forward and rear emergency braking with collision detect with pedestrian detec detection and collision avoidance, obviously. Um, I'm probably forgetting something because they have this full 360 safety feature, high beam assist, I didn't mention that, and uh, lane departure warning, and then the emergency braking and blind spot I already mentioned. So tons of safety features along with the cargo capacity of an SUV, the space in the back seat for your kids. I actually think this has a ton more space for back seat passengers than some of the bigger SUVs just because of the way it's configured with that flat bottom and lots of space between the driver and the and the back row seat. Um, so I've loved it. I've been so pleasantly surprised by this Nissan Rogue for 2021. I want to know what you think and I want you to subscribe because I'm new to YouTube and I would love to keep uh, doing this and posting videos every week with my test drive for you. So please subscribe, leave me a comment, like this video, whatever you got to do. And of course, come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. Have a great day.